Happy hello everyone! Here's a question, would you rather have more money or more free time? Before you answer, you should know only one of them will make you happier. Spoiler, it's not money. My name is Ryan Wingfield and my job is to make people happy. After years of doing stand-up comedy, I've devoted an entire year to the study of happiness. Join me each week right here on a Road Comics Road to Happiness. You might remember from one of my early episodes that money will make you happier, but only to a certain point, about $75,000 a year, give or take. Since most Americans make less than that, it would make sense that if I gave you more money, it would make you happier. But what if instead of more money, I offered you more time? About two-thirds of people would pick money over time, but those who value their time are more likely to be happy. What? Researchers from the University of Pennsylvania and UCLA found that regardless of how much time and money you have, the one that you value more is a better indicator of your happiness. As you might guess, the older you are, the more likely you are to value time. This makes sense since young people have an abundance of free time and very little money, and older people are more likely to have money and are sadly starting to run out of time. Oh, no. Perhaps one reason for the correlation is people who want more money are more likely to spend their time at work. And as you might remember from my previous episode on work, most people don't love their job. That means people are spending more time doing something that makes them unhappy as opposed to things that will make them happy, such as spending time with your family or playing video games or my personal favorite, playing video games with my family. Some have questioned the study, saying that perhaps people who value time over money don't need money and hence are happier because they already have money. However, researchers say that the correlation exists over people of all income levels. That being said, the study did not say if it included people below the poverty line, who I'm sure would be happy to donate some of their free time for basic living conditions. Similarly, you can always get more free time if you quit your job, but I imagine that that you would stop being happy when you get kicked out of your apartment for not paying rent. So if you can provide for your basic needs, maybe think twice about working those overtime hours. It's not like you can get that time back. That's all for this edition of our Road Comics Road to Happiness. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave any happy comments below. Next week is going to be one of my favorite episodes, how you can find happiness in my armpit. Until then, Stay happy.